We're talking volleyball today on Midwest Sports Now. The Division II schedule has finally gotten underway for 2019-2020. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for stopping by. You know, the central region of Division II volleyball is known for its quality, and it's represented by the Northern Sun, but also within the MidwestSports.net regional footprint, the MIAA, and the Great American Conference and you look at the MIAA standings right now, and you would really be hard-pressed to find any kind of conference that better represents quality. Look at these. Nine of the 11 teams in the MIAA right now have records of 4-0 or 3-1 and after the first weekend of matches. Five teams, 4-0, Missouri Western, Nebraska Kearney, Northwest Missouri, Pittsburgh State, and Washburn all at 4-0. And Washburn, the number four team in the country, coming into this week, and the new rankings have come out today. Washburn at 4 0 has given up only one set all season long 3 0 sweeps and 3 1 on the fourth match. And Pittsburgh State, I believe, also given up just two sets over the course of this season. And we look at the new AVCA rankings, which again have come out today. Tampa still retains that top spot, 41 first place votes. San Bernardino, three first place votes. And you go down to number four, and there is Washburn, two first place votes for the Ichabods there, 4 0 on the season. The MIAA with more teams in the rankings as well as Carney moves up from number 11 all the way up to number 8 there, 4-0 on the season, and we've talked about that. And Central Missouri moved up from 17 to number 12 in the rankings. And we keep scrolling down here also. Well, there's Rockhurst, by the way, from the Great Lakes Valley Conference. Rockhurst dropped from number 14 to number 17, but also representing our MidwestSports.net footprint. Northwest Missouri enters the rankings at number 18, and with the 3-1 and one record, we scroll on down here and see that Central Oklahoma has dropped out of the top 25 at the number 26 spot, if there were such a spot, from number 22 down to number 26. But the Central region, the MidwestSports.net regional footprint, definitely very well represented in the new Division II volleyball poll. We move over to NAI volleyball for just a moment, and St. Louis, Missouri was the place to be this weekend, specifically on Friday. A quad match taking place with the number two team in the country, the number three team in the country, the number four team in the country, and Tabor was in there as well. Number two, Columbia College. Number three, Grandview. Number four, Missouri Baptist. Missouri Baptist comes away with the best record, having won two matches. Now, uh, the Spartans did not take on the Cougars because they're both in the American Midwest, so didn't want to mess up uh, the, the conference matches there. However, uh, there was good volleyball played there. So Missouri Baptist gets two wins. Grandview gets a win and a loss. Grandview fell to Missouri Baptist but beat Tabor, and Columbia College fell to Grandview, but beat Tabor as well. So both of those top two or top three ranked teams go one and one on Friday. Missouri Baptist comes away with a 2-0 record. Really interested to see how the NAIA rankings then shake out with those rankings coming out a little bit later on this week. We'll continue following volleyball here on Midwest Sports. Now, don't forget the flagship show of this YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Saturday, will be on a Thursday one more time in the fall as we will be broadcasting from Tahlequah, Oklahoma, Midwest Sports Saturday. It's a 5 o'clock start time for our live stream here on Thursday, September 12th. And the Northeastern State Riverhawks football team hosting the Central Missouri Mules. And so we're going to be there for the pregame for that. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, everybody. Have a great one.